For our first strategy, we're going to write or fasten the amounts in expanded form on WorkMat 10. Then we'll place frames and multiply amounts on the WorkMat. Then we'll identify the product. I'll start by fastening amounts in expanded form on WorkMat 10. 24 becomes 20, then 4, 15 becomes 10, then 5. Now we can place our frames. Our first amounts are 20 and 10. I know 10 sets of 10 is 100, and we need 20, so I'm going to use 100 frames for this part. 100, 200. So now we have 20 sets of 10. Next is 20 and 5. We need 5 sets of 20, so I'm going to start by putting out 5 sets of 10, and then I'll add 5 more to make 5 sets of 20. I know there's 20 in each set, so we can count the amounts now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 sets of 20. Next is 4 times 10, 4 tens. Last is 4 sets of 5. We can show that with two 10 frames. There are two sets of 5 in each 10 frame. 1, 2, 3, 4. We now have 4 sets of 5. Now we can find our total. 100, 200, 210, 220, 230, 240, 250, 260, 270, 280, 290, 300, 310, 320, 330, 340, 350, 360. Jasmine needs 360 pieces of candy. For our second strategy, we're going to write or fasten the amounts in expanded form on WorkMat 10, write the equations in each square on the WorkMat, multiply the amounts, then identify the product. We can start by writing the equations in each square. 20 times 10 will go in the first square. Next, 20 times 5. At the bottom, we have 4 times 10. And 4 times 5. Now we can multiply. 20 times 10 is 200. 20 times 5 is 100. 4 times 10 is 40. And 4 times 5 is 20. Now we can add those up. 200 plus 100 is 300. Next we can add the bottom row. 40 plus 20 is 60. So we have 300 plus 60 is 360. So Jasmine needs 360 pieces of candy.